Hi colleagues, this movie is about an application of um, the web services that we have for engineering base. This example is a website for navigating through the projects inside engineering base and then uh, making some redlining for the maintenance or making some project executions. Just to make more emphasis that this is just an example of the capabilities and possibilities. So any kind of enhancements or modifications of course is possible. I will make an example with the project execution. So first of all, you can see that um, the only thing that is open in my computer is the Google Chrome. So it shows that the only thing that you need for running this application is just a browser. It means that you can run it on your iPhone. You can run it on your tablet. It's designed to be working on the small devices also. So I go to the project execution. Here you can see that uh, on the left side I have the tree, on the right side I have the preview. And the first thing that I have to enter is the name of the computer that I want to connect. I type the name of the server, which is my computer. And once you press enter, you get the list of the databases inside this server. So I will select database and I will load the database. These are the projects inside my database. I will select the project. If you have a low speed internet, you can just uncheck this button. Then not all the project will be loaded. Only the documents folder will be loaded. Okay. Now I have the whole project here. I can navigate through different parts. I can go to here, select one item, see the attributes, go to the functions, for example, storage tank. Again, see the, all the attributes. So you can navigate through the whole project and then see the attributes or you can go to the documents folder, go to the PNID for example, and then select one PDF file to be shown on this preview window. So this is the project execution part. And the story behind is that the sales engineer goes to the customer side with his iPhone, iPad, tablet, computer, whatever, fires up the browser goes to the project template and then opens one of these PNIDs. So he can download this PNID, select the path for that. This is downloaded here. And on the customer side, the customer can select the modules that he wants for his plant. For example, the customer says, I need these modules. He can choose from the drop-down menus which items he wants. He can enter the values, for example, 450. And these are just examples. So you can imagine that you can add as many checkboxes, drop-downs, or fields here inside the PDF, and then you can save the PDF. So when this is saved, um, I will enter my username, which is, for example, the name of the sales engineer, add a comment, sample comment. And then uh, make a version for this upload, select the file inside my desktop. This is the file. And then I will upload this file to the project of engineering base. Now I will close this browser and I go to the engineering base. Now that the sales engineer have made his suggestions and actually requested something from the application engineer through the website, then the application engineer can go to engineering base, navigate to the project with which he wants to work on that, go to the documents folder, and then he can see that there is a new PDF file inside the documents folder. But easier is that he can run a macro, project builder sales, then he can see that there is a new PDF file. He can double click on that. He can see that uh, which items have been changed. For example, this device number, this value has been changed. And these modules have been selected for this drawing, for this PNID. So he can select this PNID and then clicks on build selected sheet. And automatically the system will places all the modules that are requested and also modifies all the attributes that have been changed.
Now I can go to the documents folder, open that PN ID. I can see that the modules have been added to the system and the value is 450 GL and 7.1 and 100 PSI is selected for this pump. So you can imagine from here the system can automatically create a complete uh, reports like bill of material, uh, prices for each devices, prices for each function or price for the whole project and then uh, this can be communicated between the application engineer and sales engineers. So this was one example of project execution. The other example is project maintenance, which with the same method, um, people that are going to the plants on the site, they can um, navigate to the project with their mobile devices. They can make, make some redlining, they can add comments to the PDF files, and then they can upload these PDF files remotely to the database of engineering base. So the application and process engineers or maintenance engineers can see their comments or redlines or modifications on the plant. Thank you very much.